Hi viewers and welcome back to my professional learning environment. Today is going to be a little bit different as instead of a written blog we are going to be doing this video blog so I hope you enjoy. This blog is basically an overview of what I've learned this past unit, Unit 6. So the main focuses of this unit have been going and circling back to those OERs and copyright. We've also been working on multimedia and how to embed that in content creation and curation and also the importance of using multimedia. Likewise, we've been working with video software. We've been working to craft presentations, to do voiceovers, and to go back and edit those videos. Then we've been taking it a step further by publishing our videos and getting feedback from our classmates on those videos. Now, it's very important for you to embed multimedia content. Um, there's many reasons for this. The main one is basically just that it's visually appealing. So as you have your viewers um, looking over your work, one of the things that's going to draw their attention are the pictures and the videos. So that does um, basically make it to a visually appealing format for your viewers, which will then draw more attention to your page. Likewise, as we know, videos and pictures also support reader comprehension, and they also help with the writer's storytelling. Likewise, it makes connections and it gives further content for the um, viewer to explore. So that's especially if you're curating content, you're connecting it to other things that you've saw before, that's going to extend what you have to offer to your viewer. Likewise, by doing so, it can add to your reliability and validity based on the content that you're using to supplement your own um, creative writing. Now, as for me and my multimedia journey, I'm super unfamiliar with the idea of vlogging or creating any type of video blog. So this week was kind of new for me. So this week I did create a YouTube video on digital access, and I'm going to link that in the description below if you want to feel free to check that out. Now some of the tools I used this week included Google Slides, which is what I'm using right now, Unsplash, which is a multimedia tool where you can um, obtain free images. I also use OBS, which is the recording software I'm using right now, and of course YouTube to upload my video. Now just to make a couple of connections between our coursework and also what I've been doing, I have a couple of quotes here. The first one, it's a digital world now, and everything that is not digital is an old, traditional, hackneyed ritual. Now with this, it's kind of just simply the truth. In the case of our world now, everything is digital, and we're only moving increasingly more digital. So especially as educators and also as individuals that are putting themselves out there um, trying to make a professional name and network, it's important for everything to be digital. Likewise, the shift in the classroom should be towards teaching children how to be competent in a digital world. Now, the second quote here is by Ripple. It says, the internet and digital communications have become a normal way of life for most students in school. Students are communicating in a world that is ever-changing. They need the tools to navigate the new landscape. So like I said, that just shows that the focus needs to shift to things such as this assignment, where students are in charge of creation and curation using digital tools under the leadership of the teacher as a guide. Now, I've also included some additional resources for you to check out below. I'll also link these in the description box below, but I just wanted to go over them. The first one is an article on how to use OBS. I found this super helpful as I got started using OBS, and I hope you do as well. The second one is basically how to start a YouTube channel. Um, it's super supportive. It's through Google, um, and you can reference it as you're navigating starting that YouTube channel. The third one is Unsplash. Like I said, that's where I got my images. Um, it's free images. You don't have to worry about copyright, and those are placed on the web free to use. The last one is Nine Apps for Creating Multimedia Content. So that one's going to give you some great selections below um, that you can choose from to create your multimedia content. Here are my references um, from the quotes that I mentioned before, and I sure hope you enjoyed our video today.